Taking a look inside Eyewitness News starts with taking a look at the history of WUTR-TV. The station has been part of life in the Mohawk Valley for decades. That's when Roy H. Park built the station atop Smith Hill. And that's where it has remained to this very day. Steve Merrin has served as the station's VP and general manager for eight years. This, uh, this television station has been a part of this community since 1970. And in uh, 2003, they shut the news down. And we were fortunate in 2011 to bring it back under the Eyewitness brand. And every day, we work as hard as we can to make sure that we're worthy of being in your home. As both a concept and a name, Eyewitness News has been around for a long time, since 1965 to be exact. It really represented a change from the way news was gathered and reported, from film to attire technology, videotape. Also, it represented a different approach editorially, not just news releases and handouts, but actually reporters as witnesses to news events who would then bring that news directly to you. And that's what we continue at this Eyewitness News to this very day. Brett Hall produces Eyewitness News at 6 and 11. We are the story through a, through first person's eyes. We, we like to get that, that story that sparks a community interest. We want to tell it in a sense that it's through a person who's either living it or a, wit, a witness, an eyewitness. On this night, reporters Julia Rose and Anna Rivera both assigned to report on the approaching winter storm. It's all about how people feel and how issues affect people in our communities. So I will not put a story out there unless I have sound or statements from real people going through these real issues. I think the most challenging thing is um, trying to figure out what's really important to the community. Um, we do so many stories daily that I think sometimes it, you don't want to lose focus on what's really important to the to a person who just lives here and just works here and what's a, what's a, the key issue going on in the area. After collecting their interviews, both reporters returning to the newsroom to write and prepare their stories. That includes consulting with director Matt Barbudo, who will literally push the right buttons at the right time to put both Julia and Anna on the air.